Time management is tough for everybody. But after a few years of working with my clients, I saw that if people really want to, they can create some time for themselves. I have working mothers as my clients. I have students who have double majors and masters. So if they are doing it, I think you can do it too. This is Ece Gürler. This is the third day of From a Hobbies to a Thriving Artist 30 Day Challenge. And today we will talk about time management. When people struggle with time management, I see a pattern. I usually see three main problems. The first one is being a perfectionist. When you're a perfectionist, you get lost in detail and you don't feel like you're doing enough, even though sometimes what you did was already enough. At work, you might spend too much time on a single presentation because you get lost in all the details or you start cleaning your house. You were just gonna do living room but you end up cleaning all your house because none or all kind of mentality. And if you are a perfectionist, sometimes it might be because of a fear that you have. What are you afraid of? You should be asking yourself, like, what are you stressed about? What are you, what are you avoiding? In these cases, when we feel overly perfectionist, then we should stop and think like, okay, I'm being over perfectionist right now. I need to stop wasting my time and go back to other work that I am supposed to do. And number two is not spending enough time on yourself. What I observed is that when people don't spend enough time on themselves, like self-care or self-improvement, you would say like, or alone time. And then what happens that the other parts of the life gets even more suffocating. You don't feel the energy to do other stuff in your schedule. And in the end, it somehow leads to bad time management. Number three is procrastination. If you procrastinate, that means you're stressed about something and you have to ask yourself, why am I stressed right now? What am I stressed about? Definitely procrastination is the biggest enemy of time management. And let's find out what are your most productive times during the week. In order to do that, get an Excel sheet or if you want a piece of paper and a pencil or pen and write down from Monday to Sunday in one hour increments from the time that you get up, let's say seven o'clock, seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to 10, till you go to bed, write down what you do every day. What do you do? Like for example, you wake up, you go to work and then maybe you drop off your kid to school and then what happens? What time do you eat dinner? What time do you go to bed? And what time period during the day you have to yourself and to your art business? We need to be realistic, of course. It can be a one hour period, it can be two, three, four hours period, it doesn't matter. Just an uninterrupted time that is not allocated to a fixed thing in your schedule. That's what we need. And probably these are the times that are you are most productive. If not, I'm sorry, but you need to be productive during these times. To be frank, in order to be successful in our art business, we need to spend at least 10 to 15 hours a week on our art and art business. And if you can create that period in your schedule, that would be perfect. Just look at your schedule and allocate those times just for your art and your art business. And when those times come, please act like that's a meeting, let's say, cannot be interrupted by anybody and you turn off your phone or if not, you just put your phone away somewhere, like charging maybe, and just focus on your art and your art business for that time of period. When people call you to go out, don't go. When people knock on your door, don't open the door because you're busy. You know, this kind of seriousness that we need to put in in our art business work. I created a template for you so that you can check it out and find your empty spots that in your schedule. If you want to download it to your computer, you can just click on the link and it will direct you. You can use my template that I pinned already in the comment section or you can create your own template you can create your own schedule. But please share the results with me. I would love to know what were your available schedule like? Did you have 10 to 15 hours a week or not or more? I would love to know.